Atacube's Industrial Displacement Sensor, the IDS-3010, is a modular laser interferometer for measuring displacements with a nanometer accuracy. This tutorial shows the IDS-3010, its most important components, the interfaces and connectivity of the IDS. Those components are also included in the suitcase of the loan kit. This loan kit can be ordered at Atacube for testing the IDS and for checking if the IDS is suitable for the application. After unboxing this suitcase, you can see the IDS controller, the environmental compensation unit called ECU, various sensor heads, the breadboard which is used for mounting the setup, several mounting kits, the power supply, different fibers and cables, as well as a cleaning device for the fibers. The back shell of the suitcase includes an open breakout cable for real-time interfaces, the user manual, as well as a disk with the documents and data for using the IDS. The compact IDS controller is equipped with optical interfaces for connecting the sensor heads, as well as interfaces for the data output. The rear side of the controller includes an interface for the power, an Ethernet output, two CAN interfaces. The right one is for connecting the environmental compensation unit, while the second one is reserved for other potential customized outputs. The rear side also includes a real-time GPIO port, which is used for the BIS-C interface. In addition, there is a second real-time interface. If a real-time data acquisition is required, for example, HSSL protocol, linear analog output, A quad B, or sine and cosine, the loan kit includes an open breakout cable for the IDS. The plug can be connected to the real-time port and the pins can be connected to a data acquisition card or other post-processing components. The interface manual provides a detailed pin description. The cooling rips at the sidewall enable a passive cooling of the controller. The IDS does not require inner ventilators for cooling. The front side of the controller includes the optical interfaces for connecting the fibers leading to the sensor heads. If the real-time interface is not needed, the IDS can be connected to a computer via Ethernet. The cable can be directly plugged into a computer or via a USB dongle or adapter. Furthermore, it could be connected to a network hub to make it accessible for all computers of a network. The Ethernet connection enables users to access the web server the measurement software WAVE, or using the IDS via DLLs. The needed libraries are given on the disk that come with the IDS, with those DLLs in C, C-sharp, MATLAB, or LabVIEW. It is possible to communicate with the IDS and use the measured data in your individual program. The libraries include functions for changing the settings of the IDS and to acquire the position data measured by the IDS. The ECU captures the humidity, the air pressure, and the air temperature for calculating the refractive index of the surrounding air conditions. Because the displacement sensor is based on infrared light, the refractive index of the surrounding medium influences the wavelength of the laser light. Calculating the refractive index facilitates to compensate those wavelength changes in air. Using the ECU in ambient conditions is needed to reach a total measurement uncertainty of lower than 1 ppm. 
If no environmental compensation unit is connected, the IDS handles the measurement to be in vacuum. This would lead to a measurement error if the measurement runs in ambient condition. For connecting the ECU to the IDS, use the ECU cable and plug it into the ECU and the right CAN socket of the IDS. Finally, there is a short overview of the most important components of the loan kit. The entire loan kit can be rented for a total of two weeks. If necessary, we offer introduction trainings for using interferometers. Those trainings can take place at Atacube or, if desired, at your company. You can purchase the whole loan kit or the single components. After this short overview of existing components for the IDS, you can connect and start with the IDS 3010, which is shown in another tutorial. Before this, it is recommended to watch the short documentary about the working principle of the IDS.